Hey, what's up? Jason here. Today I want to talk about game development and certifications, degrees, and certificates. But before we get started, I want to ask you a quick favor. I really want to know what everybody's thinking before I kind of poison their minds with my own opinions and my own experiences. So if you've got any thoughts on this, you know, you think certificates are great, they're terrible, degrees are great, they're terrible, maybe you've had some experience around one of them or multiple, please let me know down in the comments. I'd like to see kind of how those views are at the beginning of the video and then see if maybe any of the minds get changed or if maybe my mind gets changed after reading a bunch of the comments. I don't know how likely that is though because I've got to admit that I've got a little bit of a bias here and part of that comes from the fact that the idea to do this video came while I was working on the Unity certification, working on the exam and getting ready for that. I thought, hey, I wonder what everybody else is thinking about certifications because I know what I used to think about certifications when I was quite a bit younger and doing a lot of hiring, and I know how I feel about them now, and the same with degrees and certificates. So I was kind of really curious what everybody else thought, decided, hey, let's do a video, share my opinions, my ideas, and kind of get the conversation started. Before we dive into the more controversial topic, or the one that people like to fight about all the time, which is degrees or degrees and versus certifications, let's quickly just talk about certificates and certifications and what the difference is. Because sometimes people mix these up and don't realize that there's actually a relatively significant difference. So most of the time, when you're looking at a certificate, a certificate is showing that you've completed something or finished some task, some course, some set of tests, or some repeatable usually redoable test type thing. Something that certifies that you've finished the task, then you're able to at least accomplish whatever the thing was. It's not a full-on test. It's the kind of thing that I give in my courses to show that you've completed the course and that you've passed the tests. You may have cheated. There's no way for me to know for sure that you didn't just go through and cheat. Or you may have had to take the test a hundred times. There's no way to verify that you didn't just retake it or anything. Nothing to show that but it does show that you've at least completed it. And a certificate is, I'd say, kind of at the low end of things. A lot of the time, it's what a company requires for some continued learning. So if you're looking at continued learning and want to take some courses, my courses have certificates, so go ahead and check them out. But it's not the kind of thing that people usually are looking for when they're hiring for a job. Usually, that's something a little bit bigger, like one of these certifications. And certifications are nowhere near as, I'd say, easy to deal with or easy to get as a certificate because it doesn't just say that you've completed a thing it's certi a certification is really meant to say that you know and understand a thing and the way that that's done is usually by monitoring a test and having a really well done test that's really balanced and verified and validated by industry professionals and vetted against a bunch of other people that are taking the tests. When you do things like these unity certification tests, it's a bunch of experts working on the questions, building out the tests, and then they have an entire professional cycle around validating all of the questions and making sure that the test actually verifies that you know, the person passing this test can do whatever the job is that's kind of in the description. And that's what a cert certification is kind of meant to do. But when I grew up, certifications were, I would say, may maybe they weren't all different, but the ones that I was seeing were not very useful at least. And I want to just talk about that a little bit. So my first experience with certifications was meeting a bunch of people while I was in high school and just starting college who had A-plus certifications. And if you know what an A-plus certification is, um, hit the thumbs up button, I guess, and drop a comment. Let me know about it. But um, A-plus certification was essentially a certification that you understood the basics of a computer, taking it apart, putting stuff together. There was a little bit of other stuff, but it was essentially like working on the fundamentals of a computer, being able to work like in a computer repair shop or something like that. It would say it's about where it would test or qualify you. Except I knew so many people who had these A plus certifications that had no idea how to do any of the stuff that it was actually on the certification. And I don't know if it was um, 
Well, maybe they knew the basics of what was on the certification because I don't even remember what was on there. But they certainly couldn't debug, diagnose, or fix any computer problems. So what I my experience at that time was just that I would meet people constantly with these certifications that could not do the job. And then I would meet a lot of people without certifications that could do it just fine. Now, again, that was... A long time ago I mean we're literally talking like 20 some years ago so it was quite a bit quite a while ago and I never really dove back into certifications after that I kind of just wrote them off for the most part up until um, a couple years ago when I got the opportunity to work on some more certifications and I saw what the actual process was like on some of these new ones that are probably a lot of the new ones and probably the majority of them. I don't really know because I haven't done a whole lot of other certifications or worked on a lot of other certifications. So I don't know if they're all as good as what I'm seeing with the Unity specific ones, but I think that it's certainly um, opened my eyes and made me think, hey, maybe they're not also all as bad as that first um, A plus and the, the situations that I was running into back in the old days. And I got to remember to just kind of you know, reevaluate things and see, you know, if there's some, something has completely changed. So let's talk about the value now of certifications and degrees, because none of this matters to just like get an, a certification or a degree unless you're actually using it to get a job or using it to advance something. Either, you, well, you're lo- using it, well, still, I guess there are two reasons. You could use it to verify and validate your knowledge and look for gaps. That's definitely one reason to take a certification or a degree program. Do you want to go through, see what it is that you don't know already, and then learn those things. If you fail something on a certification or you go go through a class in a degree program that's teaching you something new, you can learn about stuff you don't know and hopefully improving your game development skills. But the bigger reason and the primary reason that people are getting a degree or certification is, of course, just to get a job. They want to either switch into a different industry, advance in the industry that they're in, or some places literally just give you a pay raise if you get a degree. I remember Qualcomm was like that. You get a degree, bam, instant automatic raise. One of the big questions that comes from all of this is which one of these should you get? If you want to be a game developer, should you get the degree? Should you get the certification? Should you just get the certificate? I would say the certification or the degree are definitely good, but which one's better? I really was kind of up in the air on this, so I wanted to start by just putting out a poll. I put it on the community page, and the results came back completely split, which was kind of interesting. 5% cared about a degree, 5% cared about a certificate. But the more surprising part was that the either is good option really came in ahead. And people just kind of felt like whether you had a degree or a certification, either one showed that you were into it and seemed to be able to probably do the job. And I tend to agree with that. I think that if you've got a game development degree, shows that you're into game development, you've been spending time and energy on it. And if you have one of these actual certifications where people have tested you and watched to make sure that you understand and know things, then I think that it does really show that you've spent the time to learn what was important and what was really required to do the job in the industry. So for me, I guess just the whole experience of working on certifications has really changed my mind. But there was one other thing that I'd say kind of pushes me over the edge. And that was a lot of my experience with past managers. In the past, I've worked with a lot of people who were maybe not specifically Unity developers, but developers on other engineering fields, or just managers who are running companies and stuff. And when they're looking at interviews or people to interview and going through the resumes, one of the things that really stood out for me was how much they pushed forward and valued those certifications. I think part of it is probably just some industry bleed from other industries and certifications being extremely valuable in other industries and those people having some exposure and um, yeah, really just exposure to those industries. So kind of having pushing that value over there. But part of it is just I think really there that they've seen that sometimes certifications actually do make a big difference and matter. So it's, again, changed my mind quite a bit. If you'd asked me a couple years ago, I would have said certifications probably don't matter at all. But now I would say, hey, get a certification if you can. Um, the, The costs are sometimes an issue, but if you can afford it or you get into a program that, um, 
that gives you a certification opportunity for free, definitely take that opportunity. Now, I also just want to be clear, like, don't think that getting a certification is going to just get you a job. So if you're like struggling, having a hard time paying bills and things, don't spend your last couple dollars on a certification thinking that that's going to push it over the edge or anything. It's certainly not. It's a nice to have thing. Um, if it's something that's something you can get and you're comparing or considering between the two certification is probably a lot cheaper and a lot easier than a degree but also requires you to do all of the learning on your own so i guess I, i've got a lot of thoughts on it i've hopefully shared kind of my my brief ideas and i don't know i i hope this was at least a little bit helpful clarifying the just the thought of degrees and certifications certificates and, and all of that and I'm also really curious to see if anybody's mind changed along the way throughout this video. If so, please just drop a comment and let me know. And if you think I'm completely crazy and way off too, drop a comment about that too and let me know. Because I, again, I feel like I might just be completely biased. But um, yeah, I, 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 <laughs> that, that's all I've got to say. All right, I'm going to stare outside and watch the garbage truck go by. See y'all later. Don't forget to hit the uh, like and subscribe. Bye.